<laughs> this is Boo. <laughs> if you're wondering if curtains, curtains, especially as like a divider in a long room like I have, please be quiet. All right, so cold, rainy afternoon. Let's go down to the studio. All right. So my basement studio is not great in terms of acoustic treatment. So I've got that guy on the roof. I call it the bum mattress. I've got these guys, which are uh, panels I built myself, which just have the rock wool in them, um, which I think are fine. I'm using them here, here, and here. But as you can see behind me, the room is really long. That's a long room. Um, so my thought was, what, if, what could I do for like a cheap solution um, with stuff that I already have to kind of cut the room in half? So what I came up with was throwing, the, throwing a curtain rod up here These are the curtains. I, I cannot remember the brand name. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Not bad. Go on this side. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, it's a little, you know, it's a little college basement style. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. So these curtains, you can see, I mean, they're fairly thick. Um, I'm gonna throw a link in the description to which brand curtains these are. I, what I remember, they're, they weren't very expensive. I actually had them on the wall behind my desk in my last uh, space in this house. Um, and then they're, they're also here. I'm putting them, they're up in front of this window here. Let's see uh, what the test results come back like and uh, see if uh, curtains might be a viable acoustic treatment uh, solution in your home studio. All right, so for my drum mic or my room mic, I'm using this neat King B. I'm gonna just place it right here for now. I mean, we'll test everything. I'm gonna track all the drums, but we'll see if I can, if anything really is different. You know, weirdly, when I had the curtains closed, just in the monitors, in the playback, it sounded tighter. Like, it just sounded like transients were a little tighter and less echoey. But we'll go to the tape, see what it sounds like. All right, I've got everything booted up here. Curtains closed with the close mic. Listen to that. Just the room mic. This is just the overheads. So let's move on to the curtains open with the close mic. Let's see if we could tell a massive difference.
I certainly suck more playing drums. Let's go back to the curtains closed. Curtains open. I kind of like the curtains closed a little bit. I think it's just the more focused sound. I don't know. I mean, it's close. I, mean, I, I would say that j the curtains edge it just a tiny bit. Let's go to the far room, the far mic, and see what that sounds like. This is just the room mic. As the curtains open with the far room mic. This is curtains closed. All right, so this is curtains closed with the far room mic. This is the open. Closed. I mean, clearly there's a difference there. It's just testing the curtains closed and the curtains open just on the overhead. So, I mean, you're getting pretty much the same sounds that you are over here. Um, I think that the curtains, the, the curtains are doing something. I think it's just as the sound is just a little bit more focused. Um, if you go back to the first ones. So this is curtains closed. This is open. I just I think that you're just getting less room reflection, obviously, because you threw some curtains up. But I mean, for the the sort of low investment in terms of work and in time to throw those curtains up, I think that it's I think it's actually making a difference. I think it's worth it. Um, I may order another couple and just like double up. I think that might actually be a pretty budget friendly solution for some just temporary sound sound management, sound mitigation. I think that you could make the case that using them as like a divider in a room might actually be a, a decent solution on some uh, acoustic treatment.